All right, we've talked a lot about collets, how they work and how to clean them. And you know, it always comes down to the fact that we have to use wrenches to get the bits tight. We have to use wrenches to get them out. And we can use a collet lock and one wrench if we can access that collet lock. Where we typically have problems with these things is when we start dealing with routers and router plates and router tables because it really gets hard to get at that lower nut when we're trying to take them out and it gets frustrating. You end up getting blood blisters and you, and you end up with this big pile of wrenches around if you have multiple routers and it just gets to be frustrating. So there's something on the market that's fairly new that really eliminates an awful lot of these problems, like all of the problems. And that's called a quick change collet. Now the quick change collet has been around for a while but not really available to the average woodworker until just the last uh, half a dozen years or so, or maybe even less than that. But this is a quick change collet. Basically what it does is it replaces your upper part of your collet with a new device. Got a cone on it, just like a regular collet. You'll notice there aren't any slits in this cone. This cone just jams right down tight into the receiver. And we put this on just like we do a regular collet, run it down until it's finger tight, now we're going to take our wrenches and we're going to give it that nice quarter turn so that we've got it tight. And then we're going to take the wrenches and throw them away because we don't need them anymore, which is really nice. Nice to get rid of those wrenches. Now uh, it's just a simple matter of inserting your bit. And this is kind of cool. I, I really like to show this. These are a product of CNC development. Um, the microprocessor has been really good to the woodworkers in the last 15 years or so. And one of the motors of choice on early CNC equipment was a router motor. And the industry needed a collet that was a lot easier to deal with than a typical jam collet like we have. So this collet was developed and what made it affordable and easy to develop was CNC machining. That's kind of the ironic part of it, which came first, the uh, chicken or the egg. But these things are machined beautifully. They're balanced really nice. And to show you the machining on these, this bit is just being held up by the air that's moving around that shank as the weight displaces that air. If I put this bit in very quickly, it just acts like a spring until it bottoms out. And we can bottom the bit completely out because we don't have that taper and that slide down in. We don't need to lift that bit out. In this case, I would lift the bit up just a little bit so I could have access to all of the edges on it. But we drop the bit into place, we take an Allen wrench, and we tighten it in. That's it. That bit is tight, it's not going to move. And of course, we have the same practices with this as we have with a regular collet. Keep the inside of that collet clean, keep your bit shanks clean so we have that metal to metal. But when we release it, again, all you have to do is just knock it loose and you can pull the bit right out. It doesn't jam in. You don't have to take the nut all the way up to the top to release it. It makes it really easy to change bits. It makes it really quick. And if you're working with your router and a router table and you have one of these Bondhus ball end uh, T-handle wrenches, you can actually reach down in to the uh, beneath the surface of the uh, router lift a little bit and knock these things loose so that you can get them out. It saves you a lot of hassle running that all the way up so you have full extension of the uh, collet and it just makes it so easy to change bits. Uh, the only thing you have to do with setup on these is once in a while you might encounter a little bit of vibration with the bit. And we can encounter vibration in almost any collet or any bit. But on this, the cure for it is just to make a registration mark on your shaft and also on the collet. You're going to loosen that collet and you're going to turn it 90 degrees, tighten it back into place. And we want a straight bit or even better, uh, just a straight shaft in there. Tighten it up and run the router. If it's cured the vibration, fine. If it hasn't, again, loosen it. Now turn it the opposite way, 90 degrees, and tighten it in. Then you can go 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Just keep moving it around until you find a smooth spot. But the odds are you're not going to have any problem with this. I've used a number of these and I've never encountered any vibration. These things are just so slick to use. You don't need wrenches. Your bits don't get jammed up. And it's so quick to change bits. They're just really a significant enhancement to your router. And these are only available with a half inch opening. Uh, no one makes one that is a purpose-made quarter inch. So what we're going to do is we're going to use 
one of these adapters that's made specifically for the quick change bit. You don't want to use a traditional quarter inch adapter for your typical collet because it tends to jam into place. It has different machining, different sizing, different slits in it. it just doesn't work the same. So you use one of the purpose built and just drop it into place. I typically like to align one of the slits on the adapter with the slit in the uh, in the collet, drop your bit into place, tighten it up, and away you go. And again, it'll release easily when you take it out. Again, make sure this is clean on the inside and the outside. Don't get it oily. Uh, to pre preserve it in between times, you can put a little uh, uh, covering on it, but make sure you clean it off when you use it. But this is how you can adapt a quarter-inch bit to a quick-change collet.